Welcome back. Today is Acts 10 in five minutes or less. So as a summary, an angel tells Cornelius, a devout man, to go and seek Simon Peter, who also has a vision. And this vision is of a sheet falling. And when they meet, the Holy Spirit is poured out on the Gentiles, amazing the Jews. The verse I would want to memorize for this that captures the essence of this um, book is uh, Acts 10, 15. But the voice spoke again, do not call something unclean if God has made it clean. And the lesson is God accepts all who fear him, whether deemed clean or unclean by the world. So this dream, this vision of the sheet that um, Simon Peter has is a sheet that descends and it has animals in there that Simon Peter says, I can't eat this. These are unclean. And the voice of God responds by saying, well, don't call unclean that which God calls clean. And so that theme of the Jews and the Gentiles all having access to God as long as they believe um, and then from there they receive the Holy Spirit is like the primary running theme for this chapter. So my takeaway action, which was hard, uh, but I came to how can I open my eyes to the quote unquote unclean who may fear God and as such be baptized in the Holy Spirit. So at the time, this notion of clean and unclean was what separated the Gentiles and the Jews. But there could very easily be other concepts in which I or you, the listener, deem people or nations, quote unquote, unclean and not reachable by God. And I don't think it has to necessarily be whole people's groups. Those could actually just be individuals. And the question that's posed um, is how in the Holy Spirit can um, we know whom to approach, to uh, pray for, to invite into knowing God and to fearing God, and then as a result, uh, coming, coming to God um, and then being baptized in the Holy Spirit. And so uh, that is the conclusion for today's uh, summary of Acts 10 in five minutes or less.